Dollar Tree ribbon tree. You'll need a couple of rolls of ribbon. I bought three. You may need four, but they, I bought three uh, rolls of nine yards. The foam-shaped cone that they sell in Dollar Tree in the floral aisle. Uh, some type of scissor to cut the ribbon. Some straight push pins, which I had around the house, but they sell them in Walmart or any craft store, and they're relatively cheap. A glue gun, in case you want to glue a star or some kind of embellishment on the top. And that's about it. So your next step is going to be to cut your ribbon and make a bunch of cuts so you have them ready to go. I made mine about two inches, maybe slightly a little less, but about two inches. And once you find the desired size you want, you're just going to sit there and use it as the template and cut them all the same size. I cut up the entire first roll of ribbon and then as I needed, I went to the next roll, uh, etc. Then this is basically just tedious, but that's all you're going to do for now. Then once you've cut them, you're going to apply them to the cone using a push pin. It's real easy to do. So continue to cut until you have all your pieces cut out. Get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring some out here. The tidings we bring to you and your kid. We now that you have them all cut out, you're going to go ahead and get your pins ready. You're just going to take a piece of ribbon, fold it evenly in half, grab your styrofoam shape, and start applying along the bottom edge of the cone. And then you're going to continue the entire row around. And then once that's finished, you go up to the next row. Continue layering them until you have the entire surface covered of the styrofoam and work your way all the way to the top and you might want to just kind of each one bring up a little more to spread out the loops and then go ahead and accent the top. I just went ahead and put a basic gold star on it and finished it and that was it. We bring to you and your kid. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy